The National Broadcasting Company invites you by transcription to join The Chase. and the hunted, hound and fox, hawk and sparrow, chicken and worm. We in the topmost species have also joined the hunt, but who is to judge precisely which of us are hounds or foxes as we enter the chase? chase may assume a multitude of forms, the disease is seldom more pernicious or acute than the eternal pursuit for easy riches and sudden death. Boy, hey you, go chow me, chop chop. Wow, if it ain't the skipper. The skipper himself, Captain Eddie Moon. What are you doing uh, here, you crumb bum? I know that ain't nice, Captain. You ain't forgot about your pal Alfie. Can you imagine meeting Captain Eddie in a Panama Chinese chow joint? <laughs> it's a small word. Stop calling me, Cap. Huh? I ain't skipper no ship anymore. Oh, how come, Never Eddie? mind how come, I just ain't, that's all. Well, you're in uniform. Yes, yeah, some uniform, one stripe. I got a berth as purser on the Tropic Ann. The Tropic Ann? You mean that cruise tub? That's the one. Oh, how do you like that? Captain Eddie on a cruise tub, taking the tourists for a ride. You serving the morning soup and crackers to rub in next guy? Uh, Go ahead, keep talking. Uh, and I'll twist the uh, bone out of your windpipe. You strangle me, Eddie. Beat it. I'm not calling you rough, Eddie. I was only joking. Yeah, you ain't got a sense of humor anymore. Yeah, mind if I sit down? What for? Got something to tell you. <laughs> Pretty big stuff. I shouldn't let you in on account of the way you just treated me, but I got a big heart. Yeah, big as a tooth filling. Eddie, look. Maybe I shouldn't tell you here, but I've been looking for a partner ever since I hit Panama two months You're ago. You're wasting your time. I ain't giving any more handouts to creeps like you. Now on, Eddie Monks is strictly for himself. Hand out? Who, who's asking for a hand out? I'm the one who's handing out, mister. You? <laughs> what are you giving away, Alfie? The time? Oh, Eddie, look. How'd you like to be rich? I don't mean cheap rich. Lousy rich. How'd you like, say, 20 million bucks? Go away from me, you smoke kid. You're all jived uh, up. Listen, you. I'm talking straight. I got a fortune in my pocket on a 10-inch piece of paper. All we got to do is go after it. Even our bathtub faucets will be made of solid gold. Get your crummy elbows off my table. Here's my chow mein. Ain't Jim going to listen to me? Sure. Let me know when you hit a laugh line. I'm wide open for a yacht. Hetty, you always was too smart for your own good. But this time you're way out in left field. With a boat and some diving gear mm -hmm. in the chips. I ain't no skin off my ears if you don't want to listen. Diving gear? What do you mean? Well, that's better. Eddie, there's 40 or 50 million bucks in gold bullion at the bottom of the drink off of the coast of Honduras. You ever hear the graph essen? You mean that crowd cruiser that went down during the war? You know what she went down with? Mm -hmm. Gold bars. Hundreds of them. They were being shipped to a hideout for the Heine Big Shots. She sunk with all hands in 40 fathoms of water, loaded with gold. And just waiting for little Alfie Pike to dive in and make a killing, huh? Nobody knows she had the stuff in a hole, and she was so banged up that nobody done any salvage on her. Then how did you find out? Well, it was a crowd. I, I met him in the States. I'd done him a good turn. He gave me a map before he died. Ah, sounds like a two-bit movie. Oh, you big, thick yokel. Must I show you in black and white? Here. Look. What's in that chamois bag? Open it up and find out. Hey, this looks like... Gold dust, Eddie. Gold dust? It was scraped off one of the bars by my pal. Oh, there ain't much in there. Maybe it's worth the C-note all told, but the map come with it. And there's lots more where that goof dust come from, Eddie. Let's see the map. No dice. What? 
I keep the map. We go partners after we salvage the loot. Now you believe me, mister? Now you think my head's full of smoke? Now, wait a minute. How come you waited this long to grab it? And how come you picked on me? Oh, I didn't wait for you. You just turned up. You lucky stiff. I've been waiting for a stake, that's all. What kind of stake? I only need a bolt and diving gear. I know a John with a 60-foot. It ain't, ain't got speed, but it's a pretty good oil burner. And we can rent it for two grand. A diving gear might cost a couple more. Then less grub. I figure the whole deal for six or seven grand. No more. Six or seven grand. You say it like you find that kind of dough on top of seaweed. How are we going to get that much? That's up to you, sweetie. Me? What do you think I'm cutting in as a partner for? I got the map. You got the cash to stake, is it, figures? Where am I going to get that kind of money? Easy. Yeah, how? Well, then you tell me you got a purse this birth on the tourist tub? Yeah. Ah, don't the purse handle the cash? Uh, he handles some. Well, grab what you can and then jump ship. I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel Su Chow on Front ah, Street. Ah, you say it like it was easy. All I gotta do is bust the ship safe open, that's all. All I gotta well, do is... There's millions in this, Eddie, and you gotta hold up your own end to cash in. Su Chow Hotel, remember. And then we start to chase that rainbow, Eddie. The one with a pot of gold. <laughs> Eddie Monks, open up. Shut that door and lock it. You got the move? I got it. Uh, who's that? A uh, Mac. Uh, come over here, Mac. This is Mike McCray, a pal of mine. Uh, me, Eddie Monks, Mac. Hi. What's a big idea? You didn't tell me you were roping anybody else in on this deal. Well, take it easy, Captain. You forget we got to have a diving man. You ever been under with the gear on? No. Neither have I. It's 40 fathoms down. I ain't never been that deep before myself, and it ain't going to be no pushover. Well, Mac could be taking all the chances. And I ain't taking them for free. Is he cut in for a straight one third? We could have hired a guy to go down for us. Yeah. When he found out what we were after, you think he'd have settled for a couple of C's? Well, Mac's a pal of mine. He knows his stuff. With you at the wheel, Skipper, and Mac underneath the helmet, we can't miss. Look, if you don't want to cut me in, just say so, sailor. I ain't so anxious to go down our 240 feet. It's tight enough to bust your ribs down there. Just try it once yourself. All right. All right. You're in. But three is enough, Alfie Savvy. Three it is. Now, where's the dog? My poke. Now, how about the map, Alfie? It's time we all had a look. Sit down over here, gents. Here's the setup. We sailed north, northwest. We reached Swan Island. Yeah. Then steered due west toward Belize, till we're at latitude. Hey, you expecting a call? No. Oh. Sit tight for a second. Yeah? Yeah. Outside. Now? Okay, th thanks for the tip. There's a cop in the street. He's casing the joint. One of the clerks just tipped me off. You think they're on your tail already, Ed? Well, the ship sailed two hours ago, but they might have checked the cash and cable. The cop is back here in Panama. I better blow. Well, there's a way out through the back. I'll show you. Huh? Lay low for two days and then meet us at the slip. The scow's called the Nora Two. I'll take her over and buy Max dive and give, uh, give me the dough. Here. Yeah. And look, Alfie. Make sure that boat's still there when I show up. I'll keep your shirt on. We'll be there and ready to move. Right, Mac? Right. That you, Mac? I uh, stowed the gear. Set to go. Eddie should show tomorrow. Then we skip. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's a long way off. Tonight's a good night for moving through the harbor. We'll be screened by the fog. We can't be stopped by some nosy coast guard. What about Eddie? We need him that bad. This tub ain't no Queen Mary's. It's hard to handle. Eddie knows his stuff. Splitting 50-50's better than breaking it up in thirds. Are you... 
Handsome, <clears throat> my poor boy. You suggest we cop a cross. Splitting 50 50s better than breaking it up in thirds. Oh, think we can handle this tub along? Just the two of us? Sure. And hoist anchor. Stand by to shove off. Yo, when you're ready, Mike. Better take the wheel out. We're set to move. The captain is the guy who takes the wheel, Alfie. And that's me, lady. Thinking of shoving off without me, Alfie? Oh, no. I had so help me. We, we was going to uh, take a turn around the harbor, that's all. Testing, huh? Sure, uh, testing. I ought to twist I, the skull right off your I, neck. I, no, I, I swear he... Oh, lay off of him. Uh, who says? I says. You ain't so tough that you can handle me. So lay off. Okay. Later, maybe we have this out. Right now, okay. But get this straight. I'm in this to the finish. And I'm getting my cut. And if I'm navigating this cow, I'm giving the orders, too. Now, you, Mac, give me some steam. Alfie, chuck the horse. We're on our way, mateys. Forty million off bus. My ticket to wheel, Ed. Hold it steady. We should be sighting Swan Island off the starboard bow pretty soon now. Don't worry, we ain't gonna miss it. Eddie. Yeah? We've been at sea for five days. Getting along nice. I just want to say, I hope you don't hold it against Mac and me for making that mistake in Panama. I don't waste my time holding grudges, Alfie. That's what I thought. It's like I always said, a man makes one mistake. Watch the wheel and shut your trap. Where's Mac? He's forward, uh, checking his diving gear. Keep her steady. Oh, sure. Sure, Cap. Setting up your gear, Mac? Yeah. You're using it soon. Alf tells me we'll be dropping anchor tomorrow. According to my chart and Alfie's map, that's when you start diving. Yeah, you guys could have shelled out for an aluminum suit with a compressed air tank on the back. This gear is older than I am. It was the best we could do with the dough we had. Yeah, this outfit works with a hand pump. You know how to handle it? Sure. This is the phone connection, right? Right. And this is your intake. Yeah. We pump the handle slow and steady to keep your lungs filled. Anything else? Just don't forget to pump that handle, Captain. Mm. I'm the guy who's got to breathe. Then I told you not to call me Captain. Oh, yeah. I heard you lost your papers, Monks. How come? You steer some tub on a reef or what? Yeah. I steer some tub on a reef. You got it right, Tootsie. But when his hunt is over, I buy myself a dozen tubs just like it, see? I buy myself a whole fleet of tubs. Yeah. <laughs> Buy yourself the moon, mister, as long as you don't use my share to do it. Land, ahoy! Huh? Swan Island's off the starboard bow! Bring a horse to port, I'll be right up! Well, it won't be long now, monks. Forty million smackers and that ain't hay. I'll show us where to go, Mac, and I'm getting her there. The next move is up to you. That pump going slow and steady, Alf. How long's Mac been under, Ed? Twenty minutes. How long can he stay to hunt? We'll give him ten minutes more, then hoist him back for a breather. What's them bubbles coming up through the water? Carbon monoxide, exhaled air from his escape valve. As long as them bubbles show, we know he's breathing. Hey, wait a minute. He's trying to reach me on the earphone. Mac? Uh, partner. The gold? Yeah, I think so. There's a hole in the port side, but it ain't big enough to squeeze through. I'm coming up for a blowtorch. I'll ship it down here. No, no, I'm coming up. I'm getting a little tired. I need a rest. Come down again later. Okay. Not hauling me up, but take it easy. Pull too fast, and I'll get the bench. Well, lift your slow, Mac. Hold on. Won't be long now, Alf. Keep pumping. I'll handle the winch and raise him. He's breaking water, Ralph. Lay off the pump. Give me a hand to get him over the side. Uh, uh, All right. Come on. Yeah. 
Loosen them screws in the back of his helmet. Easy. Okay. Hold it off. Yeah, let, me, let me sit down a minute. Over here, Mac. Yeah. Give me a butter. I'm pooped. Did you see the stuff in the hole, Mac? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of hard to tell underwater. It was a busted strong box. Yeah. Looked like a shell headed. Two or three things that look like bricks went near the bulkhead. That's it! The bricks! They made it go! What do you think you want to go down again, man? Uh, later th- this afternoon, I'll, I'll take a net. When I get a step, you can yank it all up in one haul. I can hardly wait. Just make sure you guys don't get so excited you forget to wake that pump. You'll get all the air you need, Mac. Nice work. Come on, Alf. While Mac takes a breather, let's set up that salvage net. We'll be ready to go in a couple of hours. Been down there almost an hour, Eddie. Let's see what goes. Mac! Mac! Yeah? How you coming? Well, I, I got most of it inside the net now. Must be two or three hundred bars. You'll have to use the winch to pull it up. Can you switch your winch hook onto the net? I think so. How's he doing, Eddie? Fine, he's all right, Mac. His nose is stuck. I told you he'd make a good part. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. told me. Eddie? Yeah, Mac. Got all the bricks? Yeah, uh, Strap. Is anything left? I don't see it. Make sure. Oh, I did make sure. Anyways, I can't stay down much longer. There's too much pressure. Hold on that up, then send that winch for me. There she goes. It is coming up. Next to your pump, I'll swing the net over the side when it shows. Good thing that winch is motor driven. We'd never be able to handle a load like that, Eddie. I'd have handled it if I had to tear the arms right out of my shoulders. The net's broken water. I got it. <laughs> uh, uh, Eddie, look. A mountain of gold bars. Millions, millions. <laughs> I could rub them on my face like shaving. Eddie. I could eat them raw, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie. Yeah, Mac. Hold on, deck. Just got it. Well, where's that winch? Sending it right back to you, Mac. Here she comes. Getting tired, Alf? Tired? Pumping that air down. Let me spell you for a while. Okay, eh? Here, yeah. take the earphones. Right. Uh, Mac? Uh, Mac, can you hear me? Yeah, I got the winch hook. I'm tying it on. Uh, Check. Hey, I thought Eddie was on the earphones and you was pumping. Uh, he took over the pump. I got tired. How you feel, pal? Uh, not so good. I got a couple of cramps. The suit ain't in the best shape ever. Just give us the word. We'll haul you up, kid. I'm ready now. And take it easy. I want ten minute rest on every level. You got it? Got it. Start moving. I better hold a winch, Eddie. Set a ten-minute rest on each level. Okay. Mike. Yeah? yeah? We'll hold you here. Twenty fathoms, okay? Okay. Yeah. Tired of pumping, Eddie? No. What's he got to rest on every level for? If he comes up too fast, he'll bust his gut like a blowfish. You got to get used to the pressure. Oh. What's you looking at? The coal. Nice, huh? Gorgeous. Be nicer if only two had a split. What? Two ways is better than three, Alfie. You mean... It's easy. All I gotta do is to stop pumping this handle. You'd suffocate, Eddie. You get nowhere. So? You can't do that. No. Eddie, you stopped pumping him air. Did I? Alf. Alfie. Yeah, Matt. Something's wrong. Wrong? The air lighter might be fouled up. I'm dumb. I'm choking out the air. Got a cigarette, Alfie? Ow! Ow! I need air. I'm drunk. The valve bubbles. They're slowing up, Eddie. Give me a match.
What's eating you, Crumb Bump? Nothing. You look like you're falling to pieces. I'll be glad when I'm off this sky, that's all. <laughs> Away from me? Away from everything. I get a feeling sometimes. A feeling that Max following us. Like when I try to get some sleep, I can still hear them bubbles. Slowing up. Stopping when he stops. Got your trap. Wasn't my fault. When we come to judgment, I won't get the blame up with you. I said shut up! Hey! Mona, she's missing. She's conked out. Come on below. Put that light on. Well, put it on. I dare. Lights ain't working. Holy smoke. The batteries are out. Batteries? We won't be able to start the motor up again even if I fix her. Eddie. It's all right. Give me time. I'll check her over. He ain't far from shore anyways. Maybe we'll drift in with the tide. Hand me the tools from out of that chest. I'm going to work. Any luck, Eddie? Yeah, all bad. Can't you start? I'm trying, ain't I? Now shut your yap and hand me that wrench. Well, no soap. You mean we got a drift? Yeah. We could radio for help. With this load of bullion aboard, are you nuts? We'd never get it through customs. They'd take it away from us, you jerk. And what are we going to do? Just drift, that's all. Just drift. This is fine. This is great. Forty million bucks in gold, and we're laying on deck like a couple of slobs waiting for a breeze. It must be Mac. Get back. It must be Mac. I'm in the chase. The... One more crack like that, and I'll feed you to the barracudas. What's that? What's what? Listen. Them bubbles. Them air bubbles. Can't you hear? Pipe down. This is a doom. It's back. It's the air coming out of my Pipe down. What do you see, eh? Nothing. The water's clear. Must have been some air come out with the bilge, that's all. What are you looking at me that way for? I'm just wondering, that's all. <laughs> Wondering what? If I'll cross you two? Thinking I might try to get rid of you like I got rid of Mac and keep the swag myself, Alfie? Don't come near me. What about you, Alfie? Maybe you ain't had the same thought about getting rid of me, huh? I can read your mind like a book, Tootsie, so watch your step, you hear? Oh, I wouldn't cross you, Eddie. <laughs> Don't get sore. Go on, lay there like a side of beef. I'm going down to the galley and get me some grub. Got some grub for me, Eddie? Yeah. Well, ain't you going to eat it? I ain't got no appetite all of a sudden. Maybe you want me to force it down your throat. Can I help it? Eddie. Now what? Push. The bubbles again. Eddie, that's all I hear now. The bubbles. 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 <laughs> you punch drunk ape. That's a tea kettle on the stove. It's a tea kettle. You're going off your nut. But before you do, let me tell you. I ain't waiting for no screwball to kill this deal. We're drifting west and we'll make sure in a day or two. Now keep your scalp on, Alfie, or you'll get what Mac got, Savvy? <laughs> 
Out. Out. Land? Where? Can't be more than ten miles off. Looks like empty beach, too. <laughs> what a break, huh, Eddie? For me, maybe. You? Guess it's time for you to transfer, Alfie. This is the end of the line. Hey, Eddie. I didn't know he was packing a gun. You know it now. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Answer me, you screwy crumb bum. <laughs> What's that sound? It's water. Water. Hey, we're listening. I just opened up all the portholes below the line. You what? I figured we needed a swim, Eddie. Max out there alone, Eddie. He's swimming by himself. I knew he'd like company. You crossed me, you maniac. Triple cross, huh, Eddie? You crossed Max, I crossed you. Uh, you crossed me. Why, you... Working the wireless, Eddie. Won't do you no good. I pulled the wires. I wanted to make sure we'd get our swim. You nut, you crazy nut. Ten miles from shore, you have to blow your top. Forty million bucks to feed the fishes. Get your feet wet, Eddie. One is coming in fast. Listen to the bubbles, Eddie. Listen. Uh, uh. Oh, I didn't get it like back then. But you will, Eddie. You will. Ten miles. Ten miles from shore. Forty million bucks. Going right back where it came from. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! In the animal world, there is the hunter and the hunted. Hound and fox, hawk and sparrow, chicken and worm. We in the topmost species have also joined the hunt. But who is to judge precisely which of us are hounds or foxes as we enter the chase? Chase was created and written for the National Broadcasting Company by Lawrence Clee. In tonight's cast were Kermit Murdoch as Alf, Joe DeSantis as Eddie, and George Matthews as Mac. The Chase was directed and transcribed by Walter McGraw. Next week, A Promise of Luck accompanies A Prophecy of Doom at the races as we join The Chase. Next, First Nighter presents comedy drama on NBC. Mm.